Let your mind settle down with the breath. That's the easy part. The hard part is getting it to stay there. You have to use the breath as a tether to keep you in the present moment, because otherwise the mind's going to wander off into the past and the future like it ordinarily does. So it's like taking a, an animal that's been wandering around all the time and tying it to a post. In the canon they talk about an elephant that's used to living in the forest and wandering where it wants. And they catch it and they tie it to a post. And at first he's going to pull and be pretty miserable. But they feed it. And after all, he's, get, he's happier to stay there with the post. And if you change the analogy a little bit, then you discover that right near the post, right under the post, is gold. If you dig down under the post, then you're going to find the gold. But if you wander around, you're never going to find it. So that's why you've got to tie the mind down to the breath. And you feed it with comfortable breath sensations. What way of breathing feels really good right now? Take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths and see how that feels. And if it feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't feel good, you can change. But it gives you something to do while you're here. And it gives sense, a rise to a sense of well-being. So the mind gets used to staying here. Then you can start digging down into your own mind and seeing what is in the mind that, even though everything you do, you do because you want happiness, and you end up though, causing a lot of suffering for yourself. That's the big problem. You want to find out why. Because when you find out why, you realize you don't have to do it. You can act in ways that are skillful and don't, don't cause suffering to anybody at all. But first you've got to tie the mind down. Make sure it stays here, and then feed it well so it doesn't rebel too much. So it's used to staying here and realizing that this is a good place to stay. The present moment may not be a wonderful moment, but it is an important moment, and you can make it nicer by the way you breathe. As for thoughts that come in the mind, you don't have to identify with them. Just let them go. Let them go. Think of them as old habits that you're trying to put aside for the time being. And you're developing new habits of staying here and getting ready to do the real work, which is digging down into the mind so you can understand it. And remind yourself that, as the Buddha said, the sign of an intelligent person is that you realize that the mind needs to be trained. It's the fool that doesn't see the mind needs to be trained. The fool just goes wherever he wants, thinks whatever he wants, does whatever he wants, but that ends up causing a lot of suffering that he doesn't want. Whereas the wise person, after having trained the mind and putting up with the training, realizes that okay, you don't have to act in any ways that are going to cause anybody any suffering. And that's something really worth wanting, that skill. So let's work at it.